I'm Kristen from RascalRides.com and today I'm reviewing the Pillow Romper. This is a 14 inch bike which is appropriate for your 3 to 5 year old and is made by Pello, which is a relatively newcomer to the market. Uh, it's founded by a dad who just loves to bike and wants to bike with his sons and I think that that shows in the product um, that how much love has been put into it. It's a very high quality child's bike. Uh, you're going to get the same kind of components on this bike that you would get on an adult bike and one that I would look for for myself. Uh, for instance, you've got a Cane Creek headset here, got Kenda tires, got a tech toe um, brake on it, and what that means is that the bike is going to ride really well, you're not going to have breakdowns, and it's going to last for a long time. So if you want to use this bike for a younger sibling, or you want to sell it and get a good value out of it, resale when you sell it on Craigslist or whatever, um, it's going to turn out well for you. So on first glance, you can just see that it's a really beautiful bike. It has a nice paint job. It's got beautiful decals. You can't probably see it, but it says things like right ride geometry, which I'll talk about here in a moment, and life's an adventure, let's go ride on the side. Uh, and the welds look really nice. It's an aluminum frame, which makes it lightweight, and all the components on it are lightweight. It comes in at about 15 pounds, which compared to most bikes in this size uh, is significantly lighter. Most bikes that you'll go get at Walmart or at big box store are going to weigh 20 pounds or more. So this is really um, the perfect lightweight bike for your young child. One thing to note is on the gearing. The gearing is actually a little bit higher. It's like a 1.8 on this bike and that's higher than some other 14 inch bikes. So. It's going to make it most appropriate for an aggressive, stronger child. Uh, they'll be able to go really fast on this bike, get up to speed quickly. The only problem is going to be climbing hills. They might get a little bit more tired. And that's why I'm suggesting it for a stronger child. But if you have a kid that's been already on a bike for a while, that they're going to just love this bike. They're going to be able to fly. Uh, you can tell just by looking at this bike that it's very much a mountain bike. It has these big, knobby, fat tires on it. In fact, out of all of the kids' bikes that I've seen in the 14-inch range, these bike, this bike has the fattest tires. And um, what that means is it's going to be perfect for going to the pump track, for going to ride single track, for doing any kind of off-road riding. Uh, that said, this bike is still just fine for riding on the road. Uh, it just has a mountain bike feel, which can be a lot of fun for kids. Now let's talk about brakes. That's the one thing about this bike that I'm just not in love with. And the reason being is that it has um, one front brake. It has a rear hand brake, but it does not have a front brake. And I, in my opinion, I really think that kids this age um, should be learning to use hand brakes. They're perfectly capable. My little boy has been doing it for well over a year now, and he just turned four. Um, and they're eventually going to have to learn how to use a brake with hand brakes or a bike with hand brakes. So I think that it makes sense to get them started earlier. So if I could change anything, I would make sure that this bike had dual hand brakes. The other thing to make note of when we're talking about brakes is the rear coaster brake. Now, in the United States, almost all bikes are sold with the rear coaster brake. It's not my favorite. Uh, it makes learning to pedal a little bit harder. Kids back pedal and they end up stopping. Um, also, if we're talking about taking this bike, it's a mountain bike, uh, to the pump track or on single track, that coaster brake can actually be a little bit dangerous because they end up sk skidding out. So, I would have preferred if the Pello had an optional free hub. Um, some bikes companies are offering that now, uh, and it might be something the Pello is able to look at it in the future. Let's talk about size for a minute. So this bike is a little bit larger than other 14 inch bikes, and that doesn't make it bad or good, it just means that it's a little bit more appropriate for the older three year old, uh, maybe somebody who's in a 4T pant is really going to fit well on this bike. So if you have a child that just turned three, I would not consider this bike because it, the frame is a little bit bigger. The standard seat post that comes with the bike uh, has a minimum seat height of 18 and a half inches, which is also a little bit bigger than other 14 inch bikes. 
if you actually email or call Pillow, contact them directly, I've heard that they will swap out a shorter seat post. So that's something to consider if your child um, doesn't have an inseam length of 18 and a half inches yet. So I mentioned earlier the ride right geometry that Pillow is coined for the geometry of their bikes. And what this means is that everything, all the measurements on this bike and the angles of the frame have been designed to be appropriate for young children. And why this is significant is because so many bikes that you look at for young kids do not have child appropriate geometry. Palo actually worked with a physical therapist to make sure that everything on this bike was appropriate for young, growing, developing bodies and that they were going to have a uh, good posture on the bike, that it was going to be able to be stable. Uh, you'll note the upright handlebars that allows children to be able to easily steer the bike. There's a long wheelbase, which means the bike is stable. The children are in the appropriate position over the pedals and the wheels. And all of this is just going to make biking for them so much easier and it's going to make it so much safer as well. So one of the things that you're probably interested in is how much does this bike cost? This bike retails for $289, which may sound like a lot, but for a bike under $300, this is probably the best bang for your buck you're going to get. In fact, it's comparable to some other more expensive bikes like the Womb 2 and the Isla Bikes Knock 14. Uh, those bikes might have a few more features than this bike does, but they're also well over $300, uh, and this bike is significantly cheaper. If you're considering a bike in the $100 range from Walmart or some other big box store, please invest the extra money in your child and get them a really high quality bike like the Pelo Romper. I say this because we have a little girl next door to us who's five years old and she's been riding a bike that has probably cost under a hundred dollars and she has been frustrated, she's been falling, she's just not been having a good experience and she's so stubborn and so determined, she wants to ride that bike so badly and we finally put her on this bike, on the Pelo Romper and it was night and day. Immediately she knew how to ride, she's been riding fast, there's a big smile on her face. She comes over every day almost and asks to ride this bike. So just keep that in mind when trying to look for a bike for your child. Make sure you're going to invest in a good bike like the Pelo Romper, that your children are going to have fun riding, it's going to be safe, it's going to be easy for them to learn on, and that money is going to pay you back so many times over. And as I've already mentioned, the quality of the components on this bike, the quality of the frame and the build, uh, mean that this bike is going to last for a long time. You can hand it down to your younger children, you can sell it on Craigslist and get some good money out of it. Uh, it's just a fabulous bike that I can't recommend enough. So if you want to learn more about the Pelo Romper, you can come to my website and see photos of my son, get a really detailed review of the Pelo Romper. And you can also compare it to other kids' bikes and write in some of my reviews of other bikes, of helmets, of uh, bike trailers, etc. You can sign up for our email list and get some of these great reviews delivered directly to your inbox. And I hope you join us next time for our next review at rascalrides.com. Thanks for watching.